For a couple of months of the year, rather than applying a theme to your issue of Wargames Illustrated, we like to hit you with what we call a smorgasbord of articles in the magazine. No set topic, but rather a potpourri of pieces of individual top quality. That's what we have for you this month. Let me show you what's in store. We'll launch our tour of WI429 from the Observation Post, where we take a look at a new supplement for setting the Easter Blaze, some anthropomorphic rules and figures, World War I plastics, and a Seven Years' War compendium. Dom Saw brings us his regular roundup of new products next in Release Radar. Before we move on to Quickfire, where we take a look at your fellow Wargamer's latest hobby projects, including how to string a 28mm bow. Our first article proper comes in the form of a close look at new expansion for night raiding miniatures game 0200 hours. The game's designer Graham Davey shows us what we can expect from the addition of the LRDG, SAS and DAC into the game. A look at a mightily impressive 5 metre long model of the Roman defences at Alicia for you next, brought to you by Newbury Historical Study Association. How Did I Miss is a semi-regular feature in which WI's James plays a war game which is new to him but not newly released, and reports on his experiences. This month it's more from Grave in Our Games, in the form of Test of Honour. Who knew that the off-maligned town of Maidstone in southern England was the site of such an exciting battle during the English Civil War? A fierce and hot dispute is probably the most complete account you'll find anywhere of the Battle of Maidstone. The man behind bloody miniatures, Richard Lloyd aka Captain Blood, brings us the story of this hard-fought encounter. 1066 is all about the Battle of Hastings, or is it? In this article from Jim Graham, he shares his thoughts on gaming all the battles of that tumultuous year. Talking Miniatures is a new book penned by hobby veterans John Stallard and Robin Dews. I went to visit the X Games Workshop duo to quiz them about the book and how the Lincoln Model Railway and War Games Society changed the world. Tough Gut is the new Italian campaign book for bolt action. Over the next six pages, Dom Saw puts the supplement through its paces and shares what it offers BA players. You don't have to be a player of Doomed by Osprey Games to appreciate the kit-bashing qualities of Doomed superfan Anna Polenska. In this article, Anna shows us how to make industrial grimdark scenery using a wide range of things she saved from the rubbish heap. We gave away copies of Ancient Naval Wargames Rules to Lassa with the January issue of Wargames Illustrated. In this article, we return to the Aegean Sea, adding mythology to your trireme battles. One of the most eye-catching display games at this year's Salute show in London was one that featured an accurate representation of a US Embassy in Saigon circa 1968. Here, the men behind the monster project reveal how and why they did it. We conclude this month's magazine with another of our favourite wargame shows. This time on the other side of the pond, Historicon. Dave Taylor takes us on a tour of some of the best games from the convention. Before we leave our tour of WI429, I would just like to draw your attention to our next issue page, which features breaking news of the second edition of Valor and Fortitude, to be given away free with all copies of the October issue of the magazine. The latest issue of Wargames Illustrated magazine is on sale in WH Smith and selected supermarkets across the UK from the first of every month. Hobby stores around the globe also stock WI, and you can buy the latest issue, plus back copies and bargain price subscriptions from wargamesillustrated.net. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.